Welcome to Summer Sciences. In the previous lecture, we discussed about complement system, but in this lecture, we are going to discuss membrane attack complex, its process of formation, and how it induces the cell death. Okay, all right. Let us start our lecture. Membrane attack complex is the collection of complement components that are inserted into the cell membranes of the microorganisms and punch holes. As a result of these holes, osmotic stability of the microorganism is lost that result in the lysis of the microorganisms. Main components of the membrane attack complex are C5 beta, C7, C6, C8 and multiple copies of the C9. All these components cooperate and form holes in the pathogen's membrane surface. Now we discuss formation of the membrane attack complex. First step in the formation of membrane attack complex is the generation of C5 beta. As we have seen in the previous lectures that this C5 beta is formed as end result of three initiation pathways such as classical, lectin and alternative pathway. This C5 beta is attached on the surface of the pathogen. C5 beta which was formed in the previous step is unstable on the pathogen membrane surface. So it is stabilized by C6, C7 proteins which are next in the cascade and form a C5 beta, C6 and C7 complex. This complex undergoes a conformational change as a result C7 component is inserted into the interior of the microbial membrane. This complex also acts as a receptor for the C8 component. In the next step C8 component is attached to the C5 beta, C6, C7 complexes and is inserted into the interior of the phospholipid membrane of the pathogen. C8 is a trimer of alpha, beta and gamma chains. Beta chain of the C8 binds the C5 beta, C6, C7 complex but the gamma and alpha chain of the C8 component is inserted into the interior of the pathogen surface. This C5 beta, C6, C7 and C8 complex can create holes in the pathogen surface which are up to 10 angstrom in diameter. But this complex is unable to create pores in the gram negative bacteria and certain viruses. So the final step of the formation of membrane attack complex is the binding and polymerization of the C9 to the C5 beta, C6, C7, C8 complexes. As many as 10 to 19 molecules of the C9 can be bound and polymerized by a single C5 beta, C6, C7, C8 complex. This C5 beta, C6, C7, C8 and multiple copies of the C9 complex have full lytic potential and generates holes that is 100 angstrom in diameter in the membrane of the pathogen. Formation of these holes which was formed in the previous step facilitate the free movement of small molecules and ions, calcium ion influx into the cytoplasm, nuclear fragmentation and disturbance in the lipid bilayer membrane of the pathogen. As a result of these changes, cell membranes is unable to maintain the osmotic stability and the cells are lysed after massive influx of water from the extracellular fluid. So this was about the membrane attack complex its process of formation and how it induces the cell death. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.